jiu-jitsu lovers, I'm here with my mate Brick Top, and we're just going to go over a back attack. So we're going to start underhook side down, foot up on the hip. Now this foot can be here, it can be crossed over my legs. Let's just make sure that um, it is here, ready to go, okay? Let's try and get top finger control here. If I can have two here over the top of his knuckles, this is great. This is really good. If I can get his arm lower than his chest, it makes it real easy to tuck my foot in and put the arm behind. If I'm struggling to get it lower than his chest, like he's just not letting me, I'm gonna take a hip escape out and I'm gonna use my foot to get it lower than his chest. And then I'm gonna tuck my shoelace line in. So picture a shoelace line down your foot in behind his back, okay? Now, a lot of the time when I'm choking here, he's really strong and he gets my my choking hand, okay? And a lot of people, it's really difficult to get this hand back. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rotate my wrist inside his wrist so I'm palm to palm. My other hand's then gonna come behind his forearm. I'm really strong from here. I'm gonna kick my hips. So it's a little bit like a deadlift. I'm gonna pull his arm up above his head to my chest, okay? Now to rotate the triangle, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look for my top leg calf to go into his neck and then switch hip to hip. Once I switch hip to hip, I'm gonna hide my foot on the other side of the back to lock off this triangle position. Okay, to squeeze this triangle, you really have to invoke your inner python, not your outer python, that would be weird. Okay, you're gonna pull this leg in, squish this one in, come in from the other side and squeeze from every direction. If you can't get that squeeze, because it's a little bit technical, never forget you have this arm here. I can tuck it under for a straight arm lock. If he twists his arm, I grab the elbow and I can hit the Americana. If he's holding it to the front here, you can always grab the top of his knuckles, elbows over the top, attack the wrist lock. There is a Kimura here, but you have to suck the elbow to your belly and then rotate, okay? You need that tension in it to make the Kimura work. So that setup is gonna be really useful. We're just gonna do it one more time for those of you that can't be bothered just rewinding the video. Underhook side. This arm's gonna be a pain in the butt. If I've got an indirect grip, I can push it down and sometimes catch it. If I can't, take a hip escape, come back to the elbow, tuck it in, remember the shoelace line on your foot to make sure that he can't get that elbow out. Okay, I'm trying to choke him here. If I can't get the choke, he's got my wrist. This is the problem that we want to address today. Okay, this is a pain in the butt. I'm gonna rotate my hand towards his hand and bring the other one the other side. It's really important that you hug this to your chest. I don't want to be able to get that arm away. So I need to keep this grip. Top calf goes to his neck, I switch my hip to hip, and then I can lock off the triangle. Obviously for me, you have a bunch of arm attacks and your reverse triangle. But that, my friends, is a super powerful technique. So enjoy.